What do you want to be when you grow up? Let me think about that. Lessons, everybody. My name is Kevon Hart. And my name is Corey Hart. And we are Full Blown Entertainment, which is a songwriting, music production, and talent management company based in Trinidad and Tobago. So a bit about Full Blown Entertainment. Um, you may or may not have heard the name before, but we are responsible for a lot of the soca music that has been hitting the airwaves for the past, uh, I would say, eight to ten years or so. Um, we started off writing soca in 2011-2012. Thankfully, we were able to do something that was uh, sort of a novelty. We wrote the winning soca monarch song for five years in a row. The first one was Mr. Fett for Marshall Montano. That was 2012. 2013 we did Fog for Marshall. 2014 was Too Real for Kerwin Dubois. 2015 would have been Like a Boss. Like a Boss for Marshall. And 2016 would have been Cheers to Life um, with Voice. In addition to the Soka Monarch winning songs that we mentioned, we have also been working over the years with other Soka artists including the likes of Benjai, Kes Deban, and Charles Marshall, to name a few. So people sometimes ask, how did you end up in this career? How did you decide to become a songwriter or a musician? And to be honest, I always say it feels like the career chose me more than anything else because I I never knew that this was even an option for me while in school or when coming out of school. Yeah, we just became acquainted with different avenues that we could use our talents in. And that's what kind of got us into it. Just bit by bit, we started more with songwriting and then as we started to you know enjoy what we're doing and love what we're doing more and more then we became more and more involved in it and yeah the rest is history i think that the the thing that pushed me to want to do this full time is the fact that you experience a, a different kind of joy when you are able to determine the output of, of your work and so that joy experiencing that over and over and seeing the the results of your, of your work of of your ideas it, it really motivated me to want to do that for the rest of my life because it's it's, it's my passion but make sure and invest in your craft so you're gonna need things whether it's a microphone speakers a proper laptop whatever it is you need you need to start bit by bit early enough investing in yourself in your business because you have become a business once you decide to, to go this way it's also important to understand that you will get a lot of rejection that is absolutely fine don't take it personal yeah that it happens it happened to us so many times and i mean we could give you all countless stories of songs like vibes cardon like bottle of rum like so many songs that that we initially gave to other people and they turn it down and then years after they were like boy that was one of the biggest mistakes of my career understand that especially in this industry everything is subjective there are a lot of hit songs on the billboard charts that i won't like that does not mean that they won't be commercially successful. So understand that hearing no is something that you need to get used to. And you can't let it shake you. You can't let it discourage you. You have to keep pushing because you would knock on the right door eventually. You would get the right audience eventually. For me, I would say if you want to be a songwriter 
you're gonna write for the rest of your life you need to understand language you need to understand words would play you need to understand how to tell a story so you need to read stories you need to read whether it's poetry different things read books you know fill your mind with words and get a command of the english vocabulary first of all because that's your main language and um even understanding how other languages work will help as well in, in you being able to express yourself. Um, so for me, those type of um, subjects for songwriting, yeah, would help. Um, obviously, music is music. So if you could do music, well, yeah, do music. Or you could go to YouTube. That's a great school to go to. YouTube teaches you so much. And I think that our generation and the younger generation to come have a great advantage over the older generations because they would have to know so much of the theory of music and and be writing scores and and all that like we have almost everything with the press of a button so do not shy away from filling your mind with knowledge you have to learn 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 because you would make yourself way more marketable if people realize that they don't have to pay three or four different people to do a job that they can pay you and you can do it all so personally won't recommend any secular form of schooling for anything creative there's no one way to do something it's up to you and your brain to figure out that way that suits you best be creative with it and trust that it will work At the end of the day, many songs are stories and it's just different ways people choose to tell the story um, and that's what makes, makes it interesting. My viewpoint, you might like the way I bring it across and that's why you might like a song that I write but having a command of the language helps you to do that in a way that sometimes you don't even have to personally experience something. For example, I've never played mass but like a boss which is something we wrote was a road march winning song so understanding how to tell a story and understanding other people's perspective and being able to put it across in a way that they feel is them that you're talking about or they wrote the song like it relates to them on such a high level resonates with them yeah you need to be able to understand language you know to be able to put put it across in that way stemming from the fact that i love being able to wake up and have fresh ideas and come into the studio and express myself through music um I think that's definitely a pro. So I, I enjoy that freedom, that, that freedom of not having to wake up and somebody tell you what are your tasks for the day. Uh, you, you get to determine that for yourself. Uh, that was always very appealing to me in choosing this as a career. One, one thing that definitely has been very negative is, um, you know, at the end of the day, it can be a very cutthroat business. Um, it's not always about your talent and even you could be the most likable person but sometimes there are people out there who their intentions are never really for the good of others but only for themselves. I guess it's like that in many other industries but definitely in the music industry it's a very very difficult business to survive in if you're not aware and if you're not very careful about the business part of it. Sometimes you want to you know focus so much on the music and creating and yeah you know it's it's that part is great but um you have to be very very careful about the business side of it as well so um we've come to the end of this interview and we hope that we answered any questions that you all may have had um I just want to encourage you guys to really keep at it. There's no one way to do things. And that's such a beautiful thing in life that there are many ways to arrive to the same goal. So 
you have to find your way understand that your way could work just as much as anyone else's and just keep at it keep working hard we look forward to hearing stories from you about how different things that you did and you tried worked out for you and we as a community need to keep doing things to help the country grow to help ourselves as individuals grow and to have fun while doing it so thanks for having us Thank you.